Paul Alabama Gardener, and today I'm talking about controlling the stink bugs on your squash. Folks, I want to uh, clue you in to a uh, feature on uh, videos that you may or may not be aware of. And the way I discovered this is I asked some of my viewers if they use a feature called end screens. And usually their answer has been no, I don't know what that is. And so let me take a minute and uh, explain about end screens and how they help you uh, to get more out of YouTube videos. Now the end screens are a feature provided by YouTube where I can put uh, four small thumbnails of other videos at the end of the video you're watching. Now I can, I'm, I'm limited to four, I can't put more than four, and I'm also limited that I can't put them anywhere else in the video except at the end. That's something that YouTube does. Now these end screen videos, they're small, they're like little thumbnails, are clickable, and what I mean by that is you can click on them and it will take you to that video. So this becomes useful uh, for you, the viewer, because when uh, I have a series of videos, as I'm doing with this squash videos, uh, you can easily watch all the videos by using the end screen feature. Sorry to be so redundant there, but uh, that's what I'm trying to get across. Now, uh, in this next little couple of little segments here, um, I'm going to show you four end screen thumbnails but this is just as an example, okay? These are not the end screens that will be at the end of this video. You see, I cannot put end screens on a video until after I upload it. So I'm still in the process of editing this video and I, I just simply can't do it. But I can show you an example of what end screens look like. Once I get this video uploaded, I will put the other squash at the end of this one. That'll give you the complete picture. You'll be able to see how I plant, what kind of fertilizers I use, all the things I do there. Then you'll be able to see the video about uh, how to control the squash bug. That's what we're working on now. And then when I get the next one uploaded, it'll be the video on how to, uh, how I try to combat or defeat the uh, squash vine borer. So you'll need to watch a video all the way to the end if you want to see the end screen help that YouTube provides. Thank you. Now, many folks think that the stink bug is what kills your squash plants, but that is really not the truth. So here's my squash plants on a typical spring day, getting ready to put them in the garden. Now, this is a female stink bug that, you, that I'm showing you here. Might have been the one that uh, laid the eggs that I'm going to show you next. Now here, uh, you see eggs attached to the underside of the leaf. But they also lay eggs on, top, on the top side of the leaf, as you're going to see a little bit later in this video.
So these little yellow eggs are probably less than one day old. And uh, they're still very, very soft. Now once the uh, little yellow eggs have been laid on the leaf, as we saw a moment ago, uh, maybe a day or so has gone by, and the eggs will turn uh, to a gold or a bronze color, and the outer shell of the egg will get, it'll get hard, it'll, it'll get where it withstands the weather. Now you can just take your thing, thumb, thumbnail and scrape them off, or a knife and scrape them off, and drop them on the ground, and the fact that they're no longer uh, setting up there on the leaf where it's uh, getting the nice warm sunshine, they won't hatch. Now the eggs have matured a little bit and they have uh, actually developed a little thicker or what I call a hard shell. These eggs will hatch into tiny uh, stink bugs in one to two weeks, depending on how warm the weather is. Now later in this video, I'm going to talk about a contact insecticide, uh, one that I use that will kill these eggs, and of course it's also going to kill the the uh, stink bugs themselves. Now here I'm showing you some some uh, stink bug eggs on top of the leaf and these plants have already been set out in the garden. Now the life cycle on a stink bug it comes in about three stages. Now you already saw the eggs, so that would be stage one. And I've shown you the adult, so that would be st stage three. That would be the final stage. Uh, and then there's another stage in between. We'll talk about that in a moment. Now the adult has a very hard body. It's called an exoskeleton. Uh, but it can still be killed with the... Uh, insecticide that I'm going to discuss toward the end of this video. Now in this picture up there in the red circle, you see an adult female uh, stink bug. And if she hasn't laid eggs already, she's getting ready to. Now I said there was three stages for the stink bug. The eggs, the adult beetle, which we looked at, and then the middle stage is called the nymph stage. And on the nymph stage, it has a soft body. And that is the ideal point where it's easiest to kill them. Now you can tell the nymph stage because they kind of look white or maybe a, a gray color. And they won't be the long looking stink bug that you see as the adult. Now you see that little white insect? Okay, that's the nymph stage of the stink bug. It's either white or gray, and it's a very soft body. This is the right time to kill them.
Now, I like to use as much mulch material in my garden as I can. And one of the mulches that I use is lots of leaves. And it does great in keeping down weeds, grass, and conserving moisture. <laughs> but it also provides a great place for those stink bugs to hide out, especially when they're in nymph stage. So when you look at these, um, this picture here, it, it'll probably look like there's no stink bugs there. But I guarantee you that they're there, they're hiding. Now in this picture, you probably may wonder why I'm showing you this picture, but to, and you don't see any stink bugs, but I promise you they are there, and I'm going to show you how to flush them out so we can kill them. Now what we got to do um, is we got to make them come out. We got to run them out somehow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray water on the um, ground. Uh, and that will then make the the um, stink bugs, they think it's going to come a flood. Uh, and they'll begin moving to a higher place on the plants. They'll be getting up out of the leaves and coming up into the plants. Which is just what I want them to do. Because once I get them out there where they're totally exposed, I can spray them with the insecticide spray that I'm going to use and kill them. As I begin to spray water around the plant, over the leaves, kind of moving it around, you'll start to notice a lot of activity. And that's all them little nymph uh, stink bugs. And there might be an adult or two come out of the leaves and they're going to start moving up that plant. Now, even though the insecticide spray that I'm going to show you about is made with, uh, uh, actually it's made with flowers or parts of flowers, the chrysanthemum flower, but you still need to pay attention to the instructions on the uh, bottle. You know, you always need to be careful with things, but you can mix it at two different strengths. And the instructions of how to do that are in the uh, little instruction leaflet or a little that comes with the bottle. Now the important thing to remember about this is this is a contact kind of a insecticide. So it kills both good bad good bugs and bad bugs. Uh, so so you just need to be careful and you don't spray uh, when your bees are out or you know things that you don't want to kill. So, the, so here's a, another great point about this. You can spray your vegetables. In this case, we're talking about squash. You can spray your vegetables with this uh, pesticide. Let's say you spray in the morning. You can eat those vegetables in the afternoon. Of course, you don't want to wash them. But uh, this is a non-residual uh, pesticide. So what that means is that once the liquid has dried on the plant, an insect could walk across it and it won't kill them because of the, the, the liquid is dry. For it to kill the bug, it has to be wet and it has to get directly on them. Now you saw me spray with water a few minutes ago, so I'll give them four or five minutes uh, to come up and get on top of the leaves as you see them doing here. Uh, they're trying to get out of the water and I'm trying to get them up on top of the leaves where I can spray them with an insecticide and kill them.
Now this is the product. It's called Piola, P-Y-O-L-A. And you can do a Google search uh, on that and look for a company called Gardens Alive. That's G-A-R-D-E-N-S-A-L-I-V-E, Gardens Alive.